Students, welcome to today's lesson. This is biology lesson for grade 12. In our today's lesson, we will see the consequent phase of meiosis, which is meiosis 2. Student, at the end of this lesson, you will be able to differentiate meiosis 2 from meiosis 1. You will describe all phase of meiosis 2. Meiosis 2. When we say meiosis 2, it is a second phase of meiosis cell division that evolves with the separation of sister chromatids. When we say meiosis 1, it evolves with the separation of homologous chromosome. But here, we are going to speak about the separation of sister chromatids. And again, the activity that can be takes place during meiosis 2 can be depend on activity that can be takes place during meiosis 1. The cell formed at the end of meiosis 1 is all haploid because it contains one set of chromosomes in homologous pair. This n number that can be produced at the end of telophase can be inter for short period of time because it is a ready one for next phase. Then after, the activity continue to meiosis 2. By that, the activity separation of homologous pair that takes place during meiosis 1 is very important for the activity that can be takes place during meiosis 2. As a result, the number of daughter cells that is formed at the end of meiosis 2 Two can be reduce the number of parental chromosomes by half. Here, meiosis 2 can be differentiated or separated from meiosis 1 by the following main activity. There is no crossover during meiosis 2 of prophase 2. The only crossover when homologous pair become exchange, the chromosomal segment at chiasmata point can be takes place only during meiosis 1, prophase 1. No crossover during prophase 2. And again, chromatid become separated during meiosis 2 as process of separation of sister chromatid. And again, as the process of separation of centroma, there is a separation of sister chromatid. And again, chromosomes become lined up side by side during metaphase 2. It is a random alignment of chromosome takes place during meiosis 2 at metaphase 2. By that, meiosis 2 can be considered as an equational division as it divides a sister chromatid. Whereas meiosis 1 is considered as a reductive division, as it is considered as a division of or separation of homologous chromosome. This is a minor difference that can be found between meiosis 1 and the meiosis 2. But both meiosis 1 and the meiosis 2 can be takes place in an organism that can be joined a sex cell a gamete producing cell where both meiosis 1 and the meiosis 2 can have the same stage prophase, metaphase and anaphase as well telophase but there is different activities that can be taken place during uh, meiosis 1 and the meiosis 2 stages of meiosis 2 meiosis 2 has the same stage with meiosis 1. The same four stages found here too. Prophase 2, and again metaphase 2, anaphase 2, and again telophase 2. This each stage can be considered as meiosis 2. Before meiosis cell division began, the original chromosome must be copied that can be held together by centromer during meiosis 1. But here, 
there is no more interface means there is no copy because nos2 can be bigger from tail of s2 the daughter cell that produced during tail of s1 become progress to that of prof s2 and there is no copy or duplication here no interface and again during prof s2 chromosome become condens nuclear membrane disappear or dissolve a spindle fiber that can move chromosome from one place to another through the cell can be reformed that attached together still by centroma still there is no division or separation of centroma centroma held together the cell that are produced from tail of s1 and pass to the next stage of meiosis meiosis two and to prophes two holding them together there is no separation of centromer that they can be having the original and the copy chromosome together so this is the activity that can be explained during prophes two another phase of meiosis two is metaphes two during metaphes two homologous pair since original and the copy found together because there is no separation of centromer still homologous pair become aligned to the middle line of the cell A spindle fiber brings to that of the middle cell at equilateral line of the cell here they are arranged as a middle middle line here they are not as a pole side and again centromer held them together centromer is very importantly joining the copy number with the original chromosome this is what we call metaphase two another very important and a critical stage of meiosis two is anaphase two during anaphase two one thing that you must be understand is there is a separation of sister chromatid and sister chromatid become move to opposite pole here there is a separation or division of centroma we are not come to speak no more about homologous chromosome after anaphase two we mean that during all stage of meiosis one and during some stage of meiosis two like prophes two and metaphase two we are speaking about homologous pair because original in the copy chromosome number found together but here we cannot speak about centromer and the homologous pair here centromer division is found during anaphase 2 of meiosis 2 here one that can move to the opposite pole here is the only sister chromatid the copy number move in one direction the original number in another dimension and again they can move or separate from each other separation of sister chromatid is found here because there is no centromer here there is division of centromer the only stage of centromer division is found during anaphase 2 what can progress to that the next stage of meiosis 2 is telophase 2 during telophase 2 chromosome become decondens nuclear membrane that disappear during prophes 2 become come to reform reappear here a spindle fiber that is formed during prophes 2 that is moving chromosome through the cell come to disappear here because for daughter cells come to form it there is a division of cytoplasm again which we call cytokinesis finally at the end of tail of s2 of meiosis 2 four haploid outer cell can be produced where this four haploid cell can have half number of parental chromosome reduce the parental chromosome by half if the parental chromosome is eight the daughter cell that can be produced at the end of tail of s2 can be reduced the parental chromosome by half which means four for example here 
there is separation of sister chromatid here there is no more homologous chromosome here because there is separation of centromere here there is four daughter cell one daughter cell second daughter cell third daughter cell four daughter cell the end product of meiosis at the end of telophase 2 is four daughter cell where each daughter cell can be reduced the parental chromosome by half and each daughter cell can be show a genetic variation because of crossover because they can exchange their genetic uh, segment that can be takes place during prophase one of meiosis one none of the daughter cell formed at the end of telophase two is identical this brings genetic variation student when you speak about meiosis it evolves about spermatogenesis in the organisms. If the cell with four number of chromosomes wanted to be divided meiotically, at the end there is a formation of four daughter cell, where each daughter cell can be reduced the parental chromosome, four parental chromosome, and again the one produced at the end can be reducing the parental chromosome. There is four daughter cell, where each daughter cell can be half, half number of parental chromosome. So, at the end of meiosis, we can end up with four daughter cell, where the parental chromosome can be reduced by half. This is an example of. Spermatogenesis, which is takes place in male gamete producing. And again, organisms can be follow the same strategy in the mechanism again. A student, generally, multi cell division is very important to generate a genetic diversity through a living organism. This is as a result of crossover, which is important to exchange a genetic segment between homologous pair of an organism during meiosis 1 at prophase 1. As a result of crossover, none of the daughter cell formed at the end of telophase 2 are identical. They can reduce the parental chromosome. And this is very important in creation of unique offspring, a variable offspring across a generation. One that can be determined an organic genetic variability is the short section of DNA, the one that we call gene. Gene is very important in determining an organism traits and variation. There is one honorable biologist called Thomas Hart Morgan that carry out a research over understanding and proving a gene which is a section of DNA that can determine an organism trait or feature which is a basic for physical inheritance. He carried out a research on fruit fly. He experimented on this animal to understand as a result of crossover and the recombination, it, there may be a genetic variability among an organism over a generation. He preferred this animal, which is a good experimental animal, in ensuring genetic variability over a generation because this animal is very small enough with short life cycle and again it is very cheap and again this animal can have four pair of chromosomes large and easy to observe by that he proved and got a nobel prize over the crossover recombination and the gene found over the chromosome is a basis for physical patterns of inheritance that can determine a unique offspring production over a generation. A student, in our today's lesson, we have seen as most theories an equational division that can evolve in separation of sister chromatid. At the end of most theory, there is a production of four daughter cells that can have half number of a parental chromosome. 
እንዲያገን አዘሪዘልቶ ክሮዞቨር ኤክስቼንጅ ኦፍ ኤ ጄኔቲክ ሰግመንት ናን ኦፍ ዘ ዳውተር ሴልስ ጄኔቲካሊ አይዴንቲካል እንዲያገን ሆሞሎገስ ክሮሞዞም ቢካም አላይን ቱጋዘር አዘ ኢኩዋተራል ፕላን ዱሪንግ ሜታፌስቲ and the separation of centromer can be takes place during anaphysty that move to opposite pole this brings us all about the biology lesson for grade 12 goodbye student